When I was a kid in the early 2000s, I had a huge sweet tooth. In particular, I was obsessed with Kinder Egg toys. And if you know anything about Kinder Eggs, they each come with a toy inside. And now here we are 20 years later in my childhood bedroom with a giant container of vintage Kinder Egg toys. These are all from the early 2000s, late 90s. I am excited, but also nervous because there could be a lot of dead bugs in here. Okay, let's open this baby up. I'm scared. Okay, so before we open up the box of mystery toys, I just wanted to show you guys a modern day Kinder Surprise egg. This is what they look like. Sorry, it's a little bit <laughs> smushed. Um, but yeah, for all of my American friends, this was not probably a part of your childhood because they were actually banned in the States since I think I read the 1930s. But yeah, this is a Kinder Egg by the Italian company Ferrero. It's been around since I think 1974, I read. I am yet to find a chocolate that just like scratches that itch. Like it is such a good creamy milk chocolate. Mm, it's literally melting on my hand. Um, so yeah, this is the little toy capsule that's inside. So inside we have what appears to be car parts. So it usually comes with some instructions and a little sticker to put on the car. I guess I'll just build it real quick for you guys. <laughs> Wait, why is, why is this actually hard? I should probably read the instructions. There's literally a tablet you can play it online. Definitely did not have that growing up. Okay, it looks like it's just like a weird looking car. I guess I've outgrown the excitement <laughs> of getting a toy inside the chocolate, but let's open up that box. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> there are toys in here that I have like distinct memories playing with. This is an embarrassing amount of chocolate, by the way. I mean, this is like years and years of chocolate, but still. We had like these connecting ones. Oh yeah, so this is what the little plastic toy containers used to look like. The new one is so much easier to open. These are really hard. You have to like squeeze the sides, which I could never do as a kid. Um, what is in here, by the way? Let's find this out. Okay, oh, it's a little puzzle. Wait, how fun is that? Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is just a, you know, back in my day moment, but I think the toys were much higher quality back then. They were so much more fun. Look at this little joystick. <laughs> the ones today, they're a little lame. Um, but again, that could just be me being an old nostalgic person. Okay, these are so cool. Okay, so you open her up, has a little thing in there. And you go like this, nothing. I'm a little magician. <laughs> we got this. Look at that. That is so cool. I just want to display these. Oh, oh, this guy was my favorite. Little, little toast. I think I'm gonna sort through them right now because it's obviously one giant clump of toys. I'm gonna sort them by, you know, different collections. Look at the little ski bunny. So cute. I'm gonna sort them into their different collections and then we'll just look at each collection individually. I'm going to look up, you know, if any of these collections have any value to them. I'm probably not gonna sell them even if they do because this is just so nostalgic. But yeah, we're gonna see how old these get. <laughs> I think this is gonna take me a while, so I might see if I can hire a recruit, aka my mom, to help me sort through these. So let's, let's get started. <laughs> These look like they are very vintage. Look at that booty. <laughs> Whoa, I found a metal soldier named Swiss II. All done. That took approximately an hour and five minutes to sort out. 
Okay, so this pile over here and here and here is, we're just gonna throw it away because they're just a bunch of little bits and bobs that we just couldn't find the remaining pieces for. And then this over here is an assortment of different collections. So I've been doing some searching to see if there's like, if I can find the collections basically to reference. And there is a website by this woman in Russia and she basically has the entire Kinder collection, which is insane. <laughs> and she even like sorts them by dates. So this is very helpful. And I'm gonna be using this website as a reference. I'll link it down below. Let's see if I can find the oldest collection that I have. A few moments later. I think I found my oldest Kinder toy um, from 1993, the Happy Potami collection. This is a hippo who I guess went to the gym. I have no idea how I have a toy from 1993 because I was not born yet, but I guess he must have slipped into my collection. So the oldest collection that I own is the top 10 teddies from 1995. I have over 50% of this collection. As you can see, this is a hard plastic figurine collection, which are really good quality considering these eggs cost like a dollar each. But despite how nice and vintage they are, the entire set can be bought on eBay for only like $5. And honestly, after doing some research, the resale price for all of these collections is really not that great. This is the elephant collection from 1997, which can also be found on eBay for $10 for the entire collection. But nonetheless, they are so cute. I love this sunscreen elephant. Next, we have the ski bunnies from 1998. Unfortunately, a lot of them are missing their little plastic skis, but nonetheless, super cute. And lastly, from these kind of big, hard plastic collections is this Pharaoh collection from 1999. Apparently 1999 was my year of eating chocolate because look at how many I have. <laughs> I also found a bunch of toys with really cool different materials. You know, a lot of the toys are plastic, but here we have these stone ones. You have one thing on one side and then you flip it around and you have a man's face. Kind of creepy. I also found a bunch of these wooden figurines. I think that's super cool that they made wooden toys. It definitely makes me feel bad that I just have this much plastic sitting around. And in my collection, we have one metal soldier from 1995. And these soldiers actually sell on eBay for about $10 per soldier. Okay, those are all of the cool, honorable collections. Not saying that the rest of this isn't cool, but now just sit back and enjoy this montage of the remaining collections that I found. <laughs> Okay, so this right here, this has basically been the entirety of my Kinder Egg toy collection. If I were to make an estimate, I would say that there are at least 300 toys in here, maybe even more. <laughs> this has taken me the entire day 
to sort through, so I am pretty exhausted. Honestly, some of these are so cool. I love the figurines, like these Egyptian ones. They are my absolute favorite. See, this one actually says copyright Ferrero 1997 on the bottom. So they're, I don't know, they're just collectible little figurines. They're still in one piece because a lot of these are not. I totally have some core memories playing with some of these. Like I just remember some of these toys like it was yesterday, which is crazy to me because I have not opened this box since then. Yeah, I guess it's time for me to clean this all up once again <laughs> and maybe look at it in another 20 years. I hope this video may or may not have brought you some nostalgia. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.